In Creole Parametric, you can create 10 different kinds of edge preparations for welding. In this video, we're going to take a look at the first six of them. Here I am in an assembly. It's a bunch of plates. They are slightly different lengths just to facilitate selecting some of the different surfaces for creating the different edge preparations. But to create the edge preps, we'll start off by going to the applications command and then choosing welding and here we have the toolbar for creating welds first let me go to preferences to show you a couple of different things i covered preferences in a couple of different videos if i go to the general option i have edge preparation being created as solid geometry also for this video i've turned off the option for creating family tables for having the plates in their original state and the ones with the edge preparations. Let me cancel out of here since I didn't actually change anything. To create the edge prep features, you will go to the weld wizard command. And when you go in there for the first time, normally it has weld checked, but I'm going to create an edge preparation. You'll notice that these boxes are squares, which means that you can create multiple of these features from the weld wizard at the same time. But for this video, I am just going to create some edge preparations. And over on the right, we have the choice of combination, single or symmetrical. I will show the four symmetrical cases in the next video. In this video, I will show the single combinations. And here we have the one-sided root opening and the bevel groove angle opening, and then we have the both sides root opening, and then we've got a V groove angle cut, and then we've got the bevel groove angle cut with a root opening, and the V groove angle cut with root opening. So let me just go through these one by one and show you what you are going to get. And by default, the first one that is automatically selected is the bevel groove angle cut. But I'm just going to go through these from left to right. So when I click on the single sided root opening, you can see that it is going to have this dimension by default. This is based on my preferences. Of course, you can change the value in this dialog box. And this will remove material from one of the parts that are butted together. So let's click the OK button. And for some reason, this opens up the old model dialog boxes from Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier. Yeah, it hasn't been updated. Let me grab this dialog box and make it a little bit longer and a little bit wider and make the element column a little bit wider as well. So you have these elements up at the top with their status and then these action buttons you also have a menu manager you'll be using this a lot to click ok to let creo parametric know when you are done picking but in this particular situation it wants us to pick the contact surface for the root opening and the angle measurement so i am going to zoom in over here let's select this surface and the reason i made these parts with a little slightly different width is to emphasize which surface I'm picking from which part. Let me pick this surface and then I will click OK to let it know that I'm done picking. And now all elements have been defined. I can click the OK button and it has removed material from the part on the left. If we take a look in the model tree, here you see that we have an edge preparation feature. If I expand the first part in the tree, this one has a feature in it now. If I go to the second part, well, it doesn't have that root opening cut feature added because it just affected the part that had the surface that I selected. Okay, so that is the first example. Let's scoot on over and then take a look at creating the second one. So this time I will choose the button for the bevel groove angle cut. And here you can see a preview of what it is going to look like. And here we have the preparation angle and the preparation depth that we can control. So let's click the OK button. 
And again, we have the model dialog box and it wants to know what surface I want to do this to. I will do this to, uh, let's do the surface from part two, the smaller surface. And I tapped the right mouse button. That's called query select. That allows me to pick the next surface underneath my mouse at the location. So I'll pick the surface, then click the OK button. And this time it highlights a bunch of different edges from that surface because it wants to know which one is supposed to get that bevel cut. And so I will select this single surface and then click OK and then done. And now once again, all elements have been defined. I can click the OK button. And now if I rotate the model, you can see that we ended up getting that bevel groove angle cut in the second part. So here you can see that we have the edge preparation feature as the assembly level feature. And now this second part has an opening angle cut feature located in there. Okay, let me collapse some of these. And I'm going to expand the third part because that's going to get the third feature. And let me reposition my mouse. So this time we are going to do the both sides root opening. Actually, let me expand the fourth part as well. So you can see that the last feature in here is an extrude. Last feature in there is an extrude. After I create this particular edge preparation, both of these parts are going to have a feature in them. So let's go to weld edge prep. We have the selection for both sides root opening. I'll click the OK button and now it wants us to pick a contact surface. And this can be a little confusing because normally you would expect that you would use the control key to select both surfaces. No, that's not how it works. You'll select the surface from one part, then click OK, then pick the surface from the second part. So it's a little confusing. So I will select this surface and then click the OK button. And then you'd be like, wait, it's now prompting me to select a contact surface again. Well, let me tap the right mouse button till I get the smaller surface from the fourth part and then click the OK button. And once again, all elements have been defined. If I click the OK button, it's actually removing material from both of the parts. So you can see that here we have the edge preparation feature at the assembly level and both parts three and four or three and four ended up with those features added at the part level. Okay, so now let's go to the fourth choice over here. And this one is the V groove angle cut. And again, we can see that we have a preparation angle and a preparation depth. Let me move over here. And so this is going to affect two different parts again. Let me collapse part three. Part four again already has one root opening cut. Let me expand part five. It does not have any kind of root opening cut or other sort of like edge prep feature in the tree but just wait a moment. All right, so we've got this one selected. Let's click the OK button. And now it's prompting me to select a contact surface. I'm gonna move my mouse over the model and I'm going to tap right. Okay, that's good. I wanted to get the smaller surface from weld plate four and I'll select it and then click the OK button. And then once again, now it's prompting me to select a contact surface. Let me tap the right mouse button to use query select to get the longer surface from weld plate five and then click the OK button. And so now it's highlighting the edges from the surface of the first part I selected. It wants me to select the first set of edges to be prepared. Well, let me select this edge and then click OK and done. And now it's highlighting the edges from the surface of the second part and it wants to know hey select the first set of edges yeah I should say maybe select the second set of edges but the message area seems to be incorrect let me select this edge and then okay and done and all elements have been defined let's click the okay button and so now when we take a look over here both of the 
surfaces end up with that V groove cut. All right, let's take a look at the fifth example. And this one is the bevel groove angle cut with root opening. And this is just going to affect a single part. So, oh yeah, let me take a look over here. Just want to show from the last operation, you'll notice that well plate four now has two features, a root opening cut and an opening angle cut. Here we have weld plate five, which has that opening angle cut. All right, let's see. Let's create again between these two parts over here. Let's put it on the smaller part. So let's create that bevel groove angle cut with root opening. I'll click the OK button and select the contact surface. Once again, I will tap the right mouse button until I get the smaller surface to highlight then click the OK button, and now I'm going to select the edge. Let me tap right until I get the right edge to pre-highlight the smaller edge. OK, done, and then click the OK button again. So now we have in, I think that's well, plate six. Here we have, it ended up getting two different features in here. It got the root opening cut and the opening angle cut. So the opening angle cut, that's the one that actually made that V groove, or actually that's the uh, the bevel groove for this one, and the root opening, this sort of made that gap between the two different parts. All right, let's move over. The last one to take a look at in this video is one that's going to put a root opening in both parts and also have the V groove created in them. So let me collapse, let's see this one and this one. And so this is going to end up being between part six and part seven. Let me expand part seven so you can just see that. Okay, this one already has two of those features resulting from the edge preparation. This one has none. Let's click the okay button. And so for the contact surface, I'm gonna highlight the shorter surface and then click the OK button. And now once again, it's asking me to select a contact surface. This time I'm going to pick the longer surface and then click the OK button. And then it highlights the edges from the surface of the first part. It wants to know, hey, select the first set of edges to be prepared. Well, let me select the short shorter of the two edges on the top and then click OK and done. And now it's highlighting the four edges of the surface that I selected from the second part. Now I'll select this edge and then OK and done and then click the OK button. And so now we have both the root opening, so it removed material from both of those parts, plus it also created the V groove in both of the parts. So now you'll see that weld plate six, because it has edge preparations on both sides, it has two different root opening cuts and two opening angle cuts, and weld plate seven, this one over here, well, it's got the root opening cut and the open angle cut, you can see at the assembly level, we now have six different edge preparation features. So those are the results of the six different available edge preparations if you are doing the single combination. In the next video, we will take a look at the four choices when you're doing the symmetrical combination. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.